Hi, let's have a look at the concept on boats and stream. Now, when I talk about boats and stream, this is a very popular concept in all entrance exams that is related with time, speed, distance, whenever it is asked. So, whenever we talk about boats and stream, we are going to take the speed of the boat in still water. You can take it as A or some other alphabet. I am taking it as A over here. So, speed of the boat in still water, that is when there is no current, what is the speed? A. Speed of the stream or the current, which whatever is given, will be B then. Then, the speed in upstream. When I say upstream, that means the boat is, boat is going against the stream. Then, the speed in upstream will be A minus B. Speed in downstream will become A plus B. So, let's just go through that much again. Whenever the speed of the uh, boat in still water is A and speed of the current is B, in upstream, the speed will be A minus B and in downstream, the speed will be A plus B. Let's take one, one or two examples around the same. Bharat, a fisherman of Rampur, has a motorboat which can move at a speed of 20 km per hour in still water, which means if there was no current, he would move at 20 km per hour. Bharat travels from his home jetty, which is at Rampur, to a jetty at Sitapur, 75 km down the river, which means he is traveling downstream in 3 hours. Find the speed of the river. So, which means if I look at the concepts, speed of the boat, which we had taken as A, is given as 20. Speed of the stream or the current, I am going to keep it as B. So, what is the speed in downstream? It will become 20 plus B because you are going down, right? What is the time taken? 3 hours and the distance was 75 km. So, 20 plus B, speed is distance upon time. 20 plus B will be 75 upon 3. 75 upon 3 is 25. 20 plus B is 25. So, B will become 5 kilometers per hour. Straightforward question, no problem at all. Let's look at one more example. In the same question, it is asked, how long will Bharat take to go back from Sitapur to Rampur? So, which means now we already know that the speed of the current is 5, speed of the boat in still water is 20, speed of current is 5. So, now when he is going upstream, what will happen? His speed will become 15 kilometers per hour and the distance I now know is 75. So, time taken will be 75 upon 15, which will be equal to 5 hours. So, this was a very basic example on both and stream, should help you to understand the concept better.